Chapter 3121 Giving a Treasure Pill Violet Chi shook the heavens like thunder. The blood sword unleashed waves of brilliant sword light and a divine rumbling as it slashed toward the earth element expert. Boom! Violet Chi exploded amongst the dust, striking the hammer. After that, the earth element expert's arms exploded, and he smashed into the barrier. Just at this moment, a violet blood sword rested on his neck. Luo Shue was so pale that her face had lost any rosiness. Even standing was difficult for her, but there was a determination in her eyes that shook people's hearts. You've lost. The earth element expert's expression was extremely unsightly. It was the difference of just a single move. It wasn't that he was weaker, but that he wasn't as ruthless as her. Luo Shue had accepted an injury from his attack after weakening it through her violet sword chi and sacrificing her sword, all to condense her essence blood into a killing blow. As for himself, after using the thunderous attack, he hadn't had the power to receive her counterattack. He looked at Luo Shue. She had clearly used up everything. Just standing there was taking everything she had. If he attacked her now, he would definitely be able to kill her, but he shook his head inside. Fine. A defeat is a defeat. Thank you for not killing me. This person could count as not bad. He directly admitted defeat. Although the reward was important, people still had to have a sense of shame. They were then sent out of the martial stage. Luo Shue returned with an excited expression, but she staggered, unable to even stand. Luo Bing needed to support her. All of them were excited, but Long Chen was speechless. The Luo family's disciples truly viewed the family's glory too importantly, even their own lives were unimportant in comparison. He had already told Luo Xue not to risk her life, but she had still done so. Although she had won, the prize was truly immense, it might even affect her future cultivation. In Long Chen's view, this was extremely not worth it, but Luo Xue felt like she had profited. Luo Bing took out a medicinal pill for her, but Long Chen grabbed it, leaving them stunned. He sighed, why did you have to go all out like this? Is the reward really worth it? Your essence blood is now severely deficient, and even your spirit root is affected. An ordinary medicinal pill contains some pill toxins that are usually negligible, but if you consume one now, the pill toxin will affect your spirit root and your future cultivation. Long Chen tossed Luo Bing's high-grade pill aside like it was trash. He then took out a case and opened it. After that, a dense medicinal fragrance assaulted their noses. There was a pill the size of a longan fruit inside. Runes flowed on top of it like they were swimming. Upon seeing it, everyone's heart pounded. Top grade spirit pill. Even Lu Mingxuan cried out in shock. This top grade spirit pill's medicinal energy has been perfectly sealed inside. The Tao runes on top of it even seem to possess their own spirituality. This is truly rare. You have some experience, but a top grade spirit pill's Tao runes are not so spiritual, said Long Chen. Heavens, don't tell me that this is a legendary treasure pill, Lu Mingxuan covered her mouth, looking at him in disbelief. Long Chen didn't reply, he only took out the pill and gave it to Luo Xue, eat it, your foundation won't be harmed. However, it will take at least three days to fully recover, and you cannot fight anyone during this time, so there's no way for you to participate in the next round. I can only do this much. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this is too much. I can't accept. Luo Shiwa looked at this incomparably precious treasure pill. She didn't have that much of a relationship with Long Chen. They had only met due to the family's orders. She had never seen a treasure pill in her life. Actually, she hadn't even seen a top-grade spirit pill, but she knew that a treasure pill was something that countless people would never get a glimpse at in their entire lifetime. Accepting such a thing would be too much of a favor. Don't be so wishy-washy, just treat it as me becoming your big brother. A big brother won't just watch as his little sister is injured. So many people are watching, so don't make them laugh, said Long Chen, glancing at Luo Ning. Luo Ning understood and directly received the pill and sent it into Luo Zhu's mouth without giving her a chance to decline. In her weak state, she couldn't even refuse. After she consumed it, they were shocked to see blood return to her white face. Even her blood chi and exhausted soul instantly recovered. No wonder treasure pills were so precious. This effect was something that they couldn't believe. Luo Xue had been like a lamp about to be extinguished. But this one pill made her recover to at least 50% in just a moment. I, I, Luo Xue wanted to express her thanks, 
but she didn't even know what to say. When she opened her mouth, her voice was choked with sobs. Don't be so emotional. This thing might be a treasure to others, but it's nothing to me. You've recovered to 50% and your injury has stabilized, but that's just an outer appearance. You need to focus on recuperating during this time and lock down the medicinal energy, said Long Chen. Luo Shue gratefully nodded her head and sat to the side to rest. In any case, being able to get into the top hundred already satisfied her. After getting into the top hundred, other than the top three, the rewards were the same. Hence, there was no longer any need to go all out. Big Brother Long Chen, if a treasure pill is nothing to you, how about you give one to me too? You are my dear big brother. No, my dear grandpa. Just give me one please, Lu Mingxuan pulled on Long Chen's hand. Go over there. Suddenly having this dirty woman hold his hand gave him goosebumps. He immediately snatched his hand out of her hold. That speechless expression of his made everyone laugh. So Long Chen also had something that he feared. The competition continued. After eight rounds, Long Chen's tablet lit up. Brother San, be careful, said Miu Qingyan. Long Chen would fight against Chu Shuang. However, he didn't seem to care about his opponent at all, as if the latter was just a rabbit he was about to kill. Miu Qingyan was worried that he was being careless. You should have that Chu fellow be careful, Chen Feng couldn't help laughing. Just how could she worry about his boss, Navaloon.com? Long Chen was sent onto the martial stage, drawing out thunderous cheering from the crowd. They were finally witnessing him fight again. Chapter 3122 Heavenly Flame, Azure Rainbow Flame I really don't understand, when did this fellow get so popular? Seeing countless experts cheering for Long Chen, Lu Mingxuan was a bit curious. There were even many men cheering for Long Chen. You don't understand boss's charisma. In the mortal world, our boss was the most brilliant existence in the world. Regretfully, boss started to conceal his light when he came to the immortal world, so you don't know just how outstanding he is. Boss has an irresistible charisma that makes people willing to follow him into battle and die a hundred deaths without regret, said Chin Feng as he looked at Long Chen's back. You're bragging. I don't believe you, said Lu Mingxuan. I also didn't believe it at the start, Chin Feng shrugged. After saying that, Chin Feng didn't continue, so Lu Mingxuan couldn't help asking, what happened afterwards? Afterwards, everyone in that world believed it. Under boss's lead, we fought in the battle that destroyed the entire world. In that battle, mountains of corpses piled up and rivers of blood flowed. The entire world collapsed. Many people died. At this point, Chen Feng thought of the dragon blood warriors that had died in that battle. Upon thinking of how they had fallen one by one, pain flashed through his eyes. Perhaps it is because of that battle that Boss reserved his light and covered up his charisma. But when he encounters a strong opponent, he'll have to show his unrivaled air again. Just wait. Miu Qingyan and the others had also heard Long Chen mention the battle that had destroyed their world. But neither Long Chen nor Chen Feng seemed willing to discuss it further. They were fiercely curious. Long Chen, I've let you be arrogant for a long time. It's finally time to take your life. Do you have any final words? Chu Shuang's appearance was nothing special, but his voice was extremely resounding. He formed hand seals, and divine light appeared behind him. Within that divine light was a cluster of flames. The cluster of flames started at the size of a palm, but as he spoke, they rapidly grew. By the end, they were a sea of flames that twisted his side of the stage. The barrier covering the martial stage shuddered. Countless rooms then lit up and covered the barrier. Heavens, what kind of flame is that? It's forcing the martial stage to strengthen its defenses. The battle hadn't even started, but the martial stage was already strengthening its barrier. That showed that the power of this flame was threatening its formation. Look, the martial stage is starting to melt. A startled cry rang out. As those flames raged, the bricks of the stage began to melt, leaving people dumbfounded. Half the martial stage became a pool of lava as the flames melted the bricks. The intense heat that came through the barrier left people shaking. They were all worried that the barrier would burst and the heat would strike them directly, turning them into cooked pigs. Within the sea of flames and lava, a rainbow streak appeared. That's rank 197 of the Heavenly Flame rankings, the Azure Rainbow Flame, 
shouted an experienced expert. As expected, those three fellows are up to something, Bai Shishi looked into the distance. Chu Gon, Chu Ren, and Chu Jen were all covering their bodies with black blankets. That appearance was a bit strange, they were most likely forming hand seals under the blankets. They really do have a combination technique to cheat through the formation. Chu Gon was almost killed by Long Chen last time, but they activated it at the last second. It seems that their true target is Long Chen, said Luo Qing. Before this, she had felt some doubt. After all, none of them had seen the Chu family's experts do anything. However, she had still listened to him. The main reason was because the family had told her to form a good relationship with Long Chen. After all, they owed him a huge favor, so as long as it didn't betray her principles, she didn't mind conceding. Just because he had said so, Luo Qing had given up on fighting, losing her chance to advance. Although she hadn't said anything, she didn't like it. However, seeing this, she was now sure that he was correct. Long Chen, have you been scared stupid? You can't even speak. What happened to your heroism during the Tao discussion convention? Sneered Chu Shuang. All the spectators had been focused on Chu Shuang when they saw him summon a heavenly flame. Now they once more turned toward Long Chen. They now saw that Long Chen's expression was a bit odd. It seemed almost happy, amiable, as if he was seeing a treasure. In truth, the instant Long Chen saw Chu Shuang summon the Azure Rainbow Flame, he almost laughed. Was the Chu family intentionally sending him a gift? Fortunately, his willpower was strong enough, or he would have cried out in joy. He had always been thinking of how to obtain more heavenly flames to strengthen Huo Long, but heavenly flames were too precious and difficult to obtain. Although the High Firmament Academy had heavenly flames, they were treasures of the Pill Institute. When he asked the Seventh Star Elder, he was informed that they were so precious that the Institute had viewed them more importantly than his own wives. Unless someone had made huge contributions to the Academy or the Pill Institute, there was no way to obtain them. The Institute head would rather have you carve out a piece of his flesh than part with a heavenly flame. But now, Chu Shuang had taken out the incomparably precious rank 197 heavenly flame in front of him. Long Chen no longer felt right cursing him, so he didn't respond to Chu Shuang's provocations. After all, this was someone sending him a gift. Fine, fine, I'm rarely so kind. Leave behind the azure rainbow flame and I won't make things hard on you. You can kill yourself. After pondering for a moment, Long Chen sighed and waved his hand a bit unwillingly. Lu Mingzuan almost reeled. After hesitating for so long, just as she thought he was coming up with some marvelous verse, he actually said such a thing. Even the spectators looked at each other oddly. Just what was Long Chen doing? Was he afraid? His words were odd. No, that wasn't in accordance with his wild and domineering manner, was it? Just at this moment, the barrier separating them vanished. Chu Shuang raised his head and laughed. With death at hand, you're still in the mood to joke. Foolish fellow, I'll show you my true power. Chu Shuang's hand seals changed, and the lava transformed into flame drakes that attacked Long Chen. Chapter 31239 Dragon Space Ceiling Formation Just as the sea of lava rumbled, Chu Shuang vanished. He appeared far in the distance. It seems that you're afraid. If you're this afraid of dying, you shouldn't have even come, said Long Chen, ignoring the sea of lava and instead gazing contemptuously at Chu Shuang's caution. In truth, Chu Shuang was correct to do this. Long Chen's ephemeral movement technique was truly frightening. Once Long Chen approached him, it would be dangerous. However, he didn't expect that Long Chen would simply stand there, quietly looking at his display. Chu Shuang felt a burning sensation on his face. Idiot, if you're not afraid of dying, why don't you just go die, roared Chu Shuang. I want to, but the heavens refuse to accept me, and hell rejects me. I can't do anything about it, said Long Chen, shrugging helplessly. Even at such a time, Long Chen was so confident. The sea of lava had already surrounded him, and he had lost the initiative. But seeing Long Chen looking down on him, Chu Shuang was enraged. However, he was also delighted. He had prepared many backups precisely because he was worried about Long Chen escaping his control. Unexpectedly, Long Chen was cooperating with him. The sea of lava quickly spread, 
leaving only a small space around Long Chen. Long Chen, you're very arrogant, but you'll pay a huge price for that arrogance today. You have confidence in yourself, but have you heard that those who drown are people who know how to swim? As for those with tough mouths, they are all beaten to death for them. Chu Shuang had easily summoned a sea of lava that spanned the entire martial stage. His confidence soared. Standing on the sea of lava, he sneered at Long Chen. There's no need to say any meaningless words to stall for time. Am I not cooperating with you perfectly for your arrangement? Don't fart out of your throat. Unleash any technique you want. I'll let you unleash your ultimate attacks, and I won't even interrupt you. As for why, it's because Bosch Sen is just that arrogant. Use any move you wish. That big fellow and the fatty both show their power. I was planning on being more low-key, but I gave those two too much face. Boss San doesn't dislike arrogant people, but I do dislike people who are more arrogant than me. Today, no matter what move you use, I won't stop you. I will show them that in front of the boss, they can't act like a badass Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back. An uproar exploded amongst the spectators. Was the big fellow in fatty that he was referring to Ku Wuya and Ji Yui Yun? Was he challenging the two of them? Ku Wuya had already used his physical body to block the attack of a treasure item, shocking everyone. He had also challenged Long Chen. As for Ji Yui Yun, he hadn't challenged him, but from his gaze, it seemed that it was because he didn't even care about Long Chen. Now Long Chen was borrowing Chu Shuang to slap them in the face. Upon looking from the sea of lava and surging drakes, to the completely indifferently arrogant Long Chen, cheers erupted from the spectator stands. Long Chen was actually challenging two terrifying experts. As spectators, they all looked forward to seeing a marvelous battle. Even people who didn't like him cheered just to instigate Ku Wuai and Ji Yui Yun's anger. In any case, they weren't the ones risking their lives. Thunderous cheering erupted. Whether it was sincere or fake, in any case, the cheering shook the stage. Long Chen had ignited their passions so easily. Idiot, who do you think you are? You won't have that chance. You will die here. Chu Shuang was so angry that his nose was bent askew. Long Chen was actually treating him as a tool to grow his own fame, treating this battle as a performance for challenging Ku Wuai and Ji Yui Yun. That was an absolute insult to him. In his fury, Chu Shuang began to form hand seals. The lava instantly grew active. One moment, Long Chen suddenly raised his hand. What, do you have some final words? Sneered Chu Shuang. However, his hand seals continued, albeit a bit slower. Long Chen curled his lips and disdainfully said, Is there something wrong with your head? The flame runes still aren't fully saturated. If you attack now, it will affect how your power multiplies in a bit. You must fully saturate your flame runes before the first attack in order to establish the foundation when you add in your heavenly Tao energy. Don't worry, I'll just stand here and give you plenty of time. I'm not in a rush, so why are you? If I didn't want you to unleash your full power, I'd have slapped you to death right at the start. Then wouldn't I be laughed at by those two fellows? Who do you think Bo San is? Scolded Long Chen. You? Chu Shuang was enraged but also shocked that Long Chen had seen through his ploy. His flame runes were hidden under the lava so that no one could see them. He did this to allow those flame runes to bait heavenly Tao energy like fish bait. It was to draw out heavenly Tao energy for a terrifying attack. Just as Long Chen said, those flame runes hadn't reached their full potential yet. They were about 80%. The reason he wanted to attack now was partially due to Long Chen's instigation, but also because he felt that this would be enough to kill Long Chen. However, Long Chen had seen through it, shocking him. All his ploys were seen through, so he felt an indescribable unease and fear. Don't worry, to tell the truth, against the Chu family, there's no need for me to use any sinister plots. You can freely unleash all your power. I'll show those two toads at the bottom of a well that the world is far greater than they know. Boss San's power is in something ants like you can imagine said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you really are arrogant. Since you're so confident, I won't stand on courtesy. Don't kneel and beg for mercy in a bit. Chu Shuang laughed furiously. Chu Shuang's hand seals changed. At this moment, the raging sea of lava settled and the flames in the sky vanished. The sea of lava covering the martial stage was as quiet as the surface of a lake, but hidden behind that calmness was a terrifying energy. Chu Shuang's body began to quiver, veins throbbed on his forehead. Right now, 
Strange wounds flickered within his eyes. Boom. Suddenly, the sea of lava exploded. Giant flame drakes flew out of the sea, roaring. So you've taken out your heavenly flame seeds, seeing those nine flame dragons, Long Chen couldn't suppress his excitement. Within his body, Huo Long was roaring with excitement. Nine Dragon Space Sealing Formation Chu Shuang roared, and his hand seals once more changed. The nine dragons flew at Long Chen from nine different directions. Chapter 3124 Your Dad Caught in a Jar Nine giant flame dragons roared and charged at Long Chen. Their power caused the martial stage to shudder. Even the people outside the barrier felt suffocating pressure. This power. People were shocked. What kind of magical art possessed such immense pressure? Who could endure such a thing? All right, let's do it. But don't be hasty. If he sees through it, you won't get to eat your fill. Huo Lung was already filled with a sense of urgency, while Long Chan pretended to form hand seals with one hand. In reality, he had no idea what these seals were. Countless runes appeared around Long Chen. Those were dragon-shaped runes that formed a defensive barrier around him. Following that, the barrier instantly spread and crashed into the nine dragons. Boom! Countless flame runes erupted, and lava raged like a tsunami, crashing against the stage's barrier. Startled cries rang out from the spectators. If the barrier was broken, they would be doomed. Fortunately, the barrier only quivered a few times before settling. Looking within, they saw the nine dragons biting the giant sphere of flame runes. The sphere shuddered but its runes circulated, blocking the charge of the flame dragons. You only have this little bit of power? You really disappoint me? Long Chen shook his head at Chu Shuang. Chu Shuang sneered, Idiot, do you realize that you're definitely dead today? Do you know what these nine dragons are? I really don't. Seeing that Chu Shuang was stalling for time, Long Chen intentionally acted curious. These nine flame dragons are my heavenly flame seeds. Through three generations of my Chu family's experts nourishing them, they finally awakened their spirituality in my generation. They are my core flame, my life flame. Do you know what that is? Long Chen almost got angry. This fellow's way of stalling for time was terrible. He cursed. Fuck, do you really think I'm an idiot? You think I don't know what a life flame is? Shut your mouth. I'll say it for you. You wish to say that a life flame can be considered a split body for you due to it having your spiritual seal. Then using the sea of lava as a vector, you will summon the power of the flames of the 10,000 Aeos. After that, the nine flame dragons will absorb that energy and unleash endless power. Under your control, the nine flame dragons will use their killing blows, and I will be your dad caught in a jar, is that right? Just as everyone was seriously listening to Long Chen's explanation, the last thing that he said, subverting the common expression of a tortoise caught in a jar, came so suddenly that people couldn't help laughing. The tense atmosphere instantly came undone. Brother San is always like this, Mu Qingyan covered her mouth as she laughed, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were the same. For Long Chen to act like this, they knew that everything was under his control, there was no need to worry. Just at this moment, countless translucent runes appeared, flying into the barrier from every direction and merging into the sea of lava. Those translucent runes contained powerful flame auras. Once they merged into the sea of lava, they vanished. As for the sea of lava, it began to boil, its flame energy growing even denser. Boss San's words were correct. It's all going as he said. As expected of the champion of the Tao discussion convention, his eyes have long since seen through everything. Is there anyone still doubting Boss San's skills? Do their faces not hurt? Countless disciples sighed in amazement when they saw things going just as Long Chen said. The reason why they liked to watch Long Chen fight was precisely because they wanted to see his fighting corroborate what he had said during the Tao discussion. After all, Principles in reality were not always in accordance. Only when they were in accordance could people truly comprehend them. Regretfully, before Long Chen, no one who participated in the Tao Discussion Convention also participated in the Martial Tao Discussion, either because their Tao principles were nothing more than words on paper, or they were simply too old. So what if you know? Didn't you still fall into my trap? said Chu Shuang while feeling shocked that he had been seen through. Fallen into your trap? 
Do you think that this counts as a trap? This is nothing more than the game that a three-year-old would play. Use any technique or scheme you want. Don't tell me that these little fish are your trump card. If that's the case, you've really disappointed me. Ignoring everything else, if I just maintain this defensive barrier, you won't even be able to break it. This is the Chu family's four heroes? Are you trying to be a joke? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Naturally, this barrier was created by Huo Long. As the nine dragons tore at it, Huo Long absorbed their power. In order to not be exposed, Long Chen told Huo Long only to absorb the power that they unleashed and not their core energy. If only the energy that they emitted was absorbed, Chu Shuang would only feel that it was a trick of the defensive barrier. Huo Long was now absorbing the power of the Azure Rainbow Flame. Although it wasn't as much as if Huo Long absorbed the Flame Dragon's core energy, things were progressing well. After all, although Huo Long was powerful, the strongest flame within it was only the Scarlet Spirit Flame, ranked 573 on the Heavenly Flame rankings. Chu Shuang's Azure Rainbow Flame was almost 400 ranks above it. The difference was immense. But even though Chu Shuang's flame control ability was quite marvelous, these nine heavenly flame seeds couldn't control themselves as perfectly as Huo Long. Despite having awakened their spirituality, they were still in a hazy state and didn't know how to control their power. They could only attack using the most primitive styles. Huo Long would find it very difficult to directly devour them considering the power disparity. Even then, it would need to handle them fighting back as it devoured them. It would need to fall into slumber to digest their power. To lose such a powerful trump card at this critical time would be terrible for Long Chen. So what Long Chen wanted was to devour the Azure Rainbow Flame's power and immediately be able to control it. Let me see how long your mouth can stay so tough. You have no idea what my true trump card is. What are you doing? Rage Chu Shuang suddenly. Chapter 3125 Silently Profiting Long Chen had taken out a recliner and was holding a ceramic wine cup. He then lazily leaned back against his recliner, seemingly enjoying the afternoon sun. That appearance of his infuriated Chu Shuang, he was actually treated as nothing more than empty air. Even in this battle, Long Chen was in the mood to drink wine. This was the greatest insult to him, even worse than someone shouting curses. As for the spectators, they were dumbfounded. What level of disdain and apathy was this? Luo Bing and the others were also shocked. On the other hand, Chu Shuang was going crazy with rage. As the mortal enemy of the Chu family, for the first time, I'm feeling a trace of sympathy for the Chu family's people. This doesn't count as betraying the family, right? Luo Ning covered her mouth and laughed. Chu Shuang was quivering with rage. His face was so twisted that it wasn't even possible to see his original appearance. It shouldn't count. I'm also feeling a bit of sympathy, laughed Luo Xue. Long Chen, you go too far. Chu Shuang raised his head and roared, feeling like he was going to explode. He wanted to charge straight through the barrier and bite Long Chen to death. Unfortunately, he didn't dare to approach Long Chen. Based on the information that he had, he knew that approaching Long Chen signified death, so he could only hide in the distance. What are you shouting for? Your Chu family is most skilled in using sinister traps, right? Just keep going. I'll only put up this one barrier. If you can break it, you will be qualified to fight directly against me. Otherwise, don't even bother. Long Chen leaned back, staring at the amber wine in his cup. He couldn't even be bothered to look at his opponent. You. Chu Shuang exploded with rage, but just as he was about to change hand seals, Chu Ren's voice rang out from the depths of his soul. Don't rush, let him be arrogant for now. Continue wearing down the power of his barrier and accumulate your own power. Once you've raised your attack power enough, launch the killing blow. Blow him up along with his barrier. The Chu family's four heroes had come prepared. They actually weren't given special treatment from Silver Moon City, so the reason why they could chat and support each other even through the formation was because they had four Faith Divine Beads. Through the Faith Divine Beads, they were capable of transmitting their energy and information. However, their goal was to kill Long Chen, Bai Shishi, as well as the Luo family's heavenly geniuses. Unfortunately, Chu Gun had been too arrogant in his fight against Long Chen, 
saying that he wouldn't use their combination techniques unless he was going to be defeated. As a result, by the time he wanted to use it, it was already too late. Fortunately, they managed to save his life at the last moment. However, their trick was seen through by Long Chen, and they hadn't managed to use it again. Today, they immediately joined forces against Long Chen. All four of them had linked up their energy through the Faith Divine Beads. However, they had yet to use that power yet. They didn't know if this combination art had been seen through yet, but they hoped to keep it secret so that they could use the same method to kill Bai Shishi later. Chu Shuang slowly calmed himself down, thinking about it. Chu Ren was correct. Why bother quibbling with a dead person? So, he slowly formed ant seals, causing countless runes to gather from outside the barrier into the sea of lava. The nine dragons continued to bite at Long Chen's runic barrier. Runic chains appeared and bound the runic sphere, making sure that Long Chen was tightly bound. However, Long Chen completely ignored Chu Shuang's actions. He seemed to be contently savoring his wine. Despite how powerful the nine flame dragons grew, they were nothing more than large oafs. Huo Long was easily capable of duping them. As time passed, Huo Long absorbed more and more of their energy, strengthening itself. The most laughable thing was that if Huo Long wanted to digest the Azure Rainbow Flame's core energy, it would require quite a bit of effort. But Chu Shuang was saving the Azure Rainbow Flame's core energy, and so he was using Heavenly Dao Flames to support his flame dragons. As a result, those Heavenly Dao Flames became the perfect nutrients that helped Huo Long absorb the Azure Rainbow Flame. Clearly, Chu Shuang was worried that Huo Long wouldn't be able to absorb his flame and was helping out. It was to the extent that Long Chen didn't even feel good about provoking him further. Navaloon.com. Lu Obing and the others did start to feel some worry upon seeing endless flame runes gathering into Chu Shuang's lava, but seeing how confident Long Chen was, they pushed their worry aside. After the top 128 were decided, the time limit was essentially removed. It was mostly there to prevent someone from stalling and interfering with the convention's rhythm. However, the top 128 were true experts. Everyone wished for their battles to drag on so that they would get to see more. Unfortunately, the majority of these experts preferred to beat their opponents in the shortest time, so victory or defeat was often decided in just a few moves. It was rare for a battle to take more than an incense stick's worth of time. Since there was no time limit, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to stop things. Huo Long continued to absorb the flames. However, seeing Long Chen not summon a manifestation or even enter a battle state, quite a few people were sweating for him. Once his barrier was broken, the terrifying attack would crush him before he could summon a second defense. Time passed quickly. An incense fix worth of time passed, but his barrier was still holding solidly. There wasn't the slightest sign of it breaking. However, suddenly, the sea of lava surged. The nine flame dragons blazed with divine light. Die! The silent Chu Shuang suddenly roared, and an immense power erupted out of the nine flame dragons' mouths. Boom! The aura of the nine dragons instantly grew by several times, and Long Chen's barrier began to rumble. Chu Shuang's sudden attack caused everyone to jump. As the nine dragons pressed down on it, Long Chen's barrier quivered intensely. The slumbering Long Chen was woken. Long Chen, you'll pay the price for your arrogance. Die in your terror and regret. Chu Shuang sneered as he could sense Long Chen's barrier weakening. The nine dragons were crushing it. Oh, you must have another big move, said Long Chen. Of course, just watch. Chu Shuang raised his head and laughed. After rapidly forming hand seals, a divine statue appeared behind him, a flame rune then lit up on his forehead. At the same time, an identical rune lit up on all nine flame dragons' heads. The martial stage sank. Long Chen's defense instantly became covered in cracks, causing Bai Shishi and the others' expressions to change. Chapter 3126 Easily Killed Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're too naive. My heavenly flame seeds require my heavenly flame spirit to unleash their true power. Moreover, with Lord Brahma's divine statue supporting me, the flames of the 10,000 Deos are mine to control. You cannot escape your death any longer. As Chu Shuang left, the divine statue behind him glowed. 
all the flame energy within heaven and earth grew active, and even the spectators felt like the surrounding space was about to ignite. Their souls were roasting. As for the nine flame dragons, as they bit at Long Chen's defensive barrier, cracks covered the entire barrier as if it might shatter at any moment. However, within the barrier, Long Chen didn't show the slightest bit of panic. This barrier can absorb the outside world's energy to repair itself. As long as it isn't instantly broken, it will constantly restore itself. If you don't believe me, just look. Just at that moment, everyone saw some of the cracks fade. It really was restoring itself. However, this wasn't it restoring itself. It was just Huo Long acting. Huo Long had condensed the core energy of the Azure Rainbow Flame, and flames that were of the same nature had great difficulty harming each other. Huo Long was just acting according to Long Chen's instructions, faking that the barrier was near destruction. Unless you destroy my barrier in one blow, it's meaningless Long Chen stood up from his recliner and stretched nonchalantly, he didn't seem the slightest bit concerned. The cracks on the barrier were slowly fading, it seemed that it wouldn't be long before the barrier was fully restored, shocking everyone. HMPH, you really are naive, I'll show you my true killing blow. Chu Shuang sneered and pressed his hands together, chanting some scripture. As the chanting rang out, flame runes appeared within heaven and earth, they flooded into the sea of lava. As a result, the sea of lava grew explosively along with the martial stage, the nine flame dragons also grew with it. It's the Nirvana scripture. Startled cries rang out, the Nirvana scripture was known as the number one flame element sutra of the nine heavens and ten lands the strongest of all flame element techniques, it was famous to the extent that only a few people had not heard of it. With the support of the scripture, all the flame energy within heaven and earth fell under his control. As a result, Long Chen's barrier once more became covered in cracks, one of the dragon's teeth even pierced through it. Bastards, they're cheating. Suddenly, a startled cry split the air, everyone followed where that person was pointing to see the Chu Gon, Chu Jin, and Chu Ren were also forming hand seals and chanting. A rune had appeared on their foreheads as well. The blankets covering their movements had been blown apart, revealing their actions. Chu Shuang was using too much power for them to help him without anyone noticing. They're joining forces to kill Bosh Long San. Despicable, a flagrant violation of the rules. Long Chen's barrier became riddled with cracks, it was on the verge of destruction. Just at that moment, a flame spear pierced through the back of Chu Shuang's head, the rune on his forehead was shattered by the spear. Chu Gon, Chu Jin, and Chu Ren's heads all exploded at the same time, this sudden change made everyone jump in shock. After that, the barrier around Long Chen vanished, a dragon roared and rang out, and a flame dragon flew out, opening its mouth, like a whale taking in water, it sucked in the nine flame dragons and the sea of lava, as well as that crumbled rune on Chu Shuang's forehead. The martial stage returned to its normal appearance with the loss of the sea of lava, with a thud, Chu Shuang's headless corpse fell in front of Long Chen's feet. Everyone, including Bai Shishi, was stunned. Long Chen had not just killed Chu Shuang, but he had even slain Chu Gon, Chu Ren, and Chu Zhen at the same time. It was sudden and bizarre. Looking at the corpse at his feet, Long Chen shook his head. So sorry, I forgot to tell you that my flame control is not inferior to anyone, how does it feel to die to your own heavenly flame? Originally, Long Chen had been planning on killing Chu Shuang openly, however, when Huo Long gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame, it also became capable of controlling the Sea of Lava's power without Chu Shuang even noticing. Furthermore, absorbing so much energy caused Huo Long's intelligence to rise. Although it still hadn't reached the point of transforming, it had recovered a majority of its spirituality from the martial heaven continent. Long Chen then had Huo Long try using its energy through the Sea of Lava in preparation for a killing blow, but due to linking with the other three, Chu Shuang's sense of danger had grown muddled, he didn't even realize that Huo Long had gained control over his domain. Just as the four of them began to chant the scripture together, Huo Long attacked, killing the main body. Chu Shuang, when the main body suddenly died, their combination technique was broken, as a result, the terrifying manifestation brought on by the Nirvana scripture lost its balance, and the backlash took three of their lives as well. 
Everything was within Long Chen's calculations. No one understood Nirvana scripture better than we did. The only difference was that he was supposed to be the one to launch the killing blow, but it had been switched to Huo Long. A trivial difference. As a result of this, no one else knew what technique he had used to kill the four of them. It gave him an extra layer of mystery. Furthermore, he also saw Ku Wuai and Ji Yuai Yun's expressions change ever so slightly. They hadn't managed to see through the clues. I'll scare them to death, Long Chen sneered inside. Would they continue to act badass now? Just then, Long Chen was sent out of the martial stage. He hadn't even had to do anything, but the four heavenly geniuses of the Chu family were dead. There was no clapping this time, only a silent fear. In comparison to Ku Wuai and Ji Yuai Yun's one blow kills, Long Chen's no blow, four kill result was far more stunning. Boss is mighty. Qin Feng was the first to congratulate Long Chen. In comparison to the other people's shock, he didn't find it odd at all. No matter what happened, when it came to Long Chen, it wasn't that surprising. What did you use to kill them, despite knowing that she shouldn't ask? Lu Mingxuan couldn't help herself. I didn't do anything, he simply killed himself. My guess is that they had some enmity between them, so he dragged the three of them along with him. Come, let us pray for them. In truth, I don't feel like they were that bad, said Long Chen solemnly. Screw off, only a ghost would believe you, Lu Mingxuan rolled her eyes. Actually, even a ghost wouldn't believe it. Long Chen returned to his seat and looked inside the primal chaos space, wanting to see how Huo Long was. However, when he looked inside, his body quivered. This is. An expression of wild delight appeared on his face. He almost jumped out of joy. Chapter 3127 Heavenly Dao Fruit Reappears Heavens, Heavenly Dao Fruit Inside the primal chaos space, the Heavenly Dao tree that had been silent for a long time had borne fruit once more. There were now four fruits on its branches. The Heavenly Dao tree was the source of the Dragon Blood Legion's rise. Without it, the current Dragon Blood Legion wouldn't exist. It had completely changed their fates. Upon entering the immortal world, the heavenly Dao tree's fruit had vanished. It was listless, as if it was dead. However, today, a new light appeared on its leaves. This change made Long Chen take a second look, only to find that it had borne fruit. Long Chen, are you all right? You're frightening me. Seeing Long Chen start shaking as soon as he sat down, and adding on his strange expression, Lu Mingxuan couldn't help asking him if he was all right. I'm fine, I'm fine. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for them to continue watching the battles. His mind then sank into the primal chaos space. These four heavenly Dao fruits should belong to Chu Gon, Chu Jin, Chu Ren, and Xu Shuang. It seems that killing primals will result in heavenly Dao fruits and will also nourish the heavenly Dao tree. I really have profited this time. The dragon blood warriors can all become primals. He, the dragon blood legion will definitely shake the entire world once more. Long Chen's blood heated up, and he wanted to find all the Dragon Blood Warriors once more. At that time, who could stop them? Ha ha ha, thinking of this, Long Che laughed. This laugh disturbed by Shishi and the others who were watching the competition. You've gone crazy, Lu Mingxuan stared at Long Chen, almost so disturbed that she took out her weapon. You can keep watching, Chin Feng, come with me. Long Chen left with Chin Feng. In a private room, Long Chen gave him a heavenly Dao fruit. Boss, this heavenly Dao fruit. Chin Feng jumped in shock. The heavenly Dao fruits had left a deep impression on him. It was these fruits that had changed his fate. Now that they had reappeared, his heart pounded. Now he knew why Long Chen was so emotional. This heavenly Dao fruit meant that his fate was about to change once more. Eat it and see what happens. I'll guard you. Long Chen was even more impatient than Chin Feng. He urgently wished to know if this heavenly Dao fruit could do what he was imagining. Chin Feng nodded and took a few deep breaths to calm himself down. He devoured the fruit in just a few bites. After that, his entire body instantly grew flushed, as if he was being boiled. An incomparably vast energy then swelled within his body. His clothes blew apart. Countless blood vessels then bulged throughout his body like thin crawling serpents. It was a frightening appearance, but Chin Feng's expression was good. 
With his blood vessels bulging, it was almost possible to see inside the vessels. Runes were flowing through them. His skin then split open, and blood leaked out. The process was very painful. An ordinary person would definitely be screaming. However, to the dragon blood warriors who had experienced countless heavenly tribulations that had tempered their meridians, this was nothing. Chin Fung was quickly covered in blood. It then formed scabs that covered his entire body before starting to fall, revealing new skin. His blood vessels once more bulged, and his new skin split open and bled. It then scabbed, fell, and was reborn again and again. It was like a butterfly breaking free of its cocoon. It was repeated rebirths. Long Chen could clearly sense Chin Feng's blood chi strengthening with every rebirth. After seven sheddings, Chin Feng's blood chi had risen to a level that shocked Long Chen. Long Chen grabbed Chin Feng's arm and sensed the new power of his physical body and nodded. Boss, I'm now an awakened primal. Chin Feng clenched his fists excitedly, feeling the endless power flowing within his body. He wanted to find some experts to fight against. It's too bad. If I had known that killing primals would condense heavenly Dao fruits, I would have killed a few primals on the way here, Long Chen sighed. If Chin Feng had consumed a heavenly Dao fruit earlier, he wouldn't have been eliminated from the competition. He, it's fine, I'll conceal my power and give them a nice surprise at a critical time, Chin Feng was very satisfied. He didn't care about the competition as what he pursued was power. Long Chen nodded, take care to cover up your blood chi. Occasionally dressing up like a pig to eat the tiger is fun. Long Chen then continued checking Chin Fang's body and couldn't help frowning. Curious, the four of them had flame energy in their bodies. You consume their heavenly Tao fruit, but there's not even the slightest flame energy fluctuation. In the mortal world, the heavenly Tao fruits could be differentiated by their element, but the four heavenly Tao fruits he had just obtained with no such differentiation. There was no way to tell who they had come from. Chin Feng's physical body was powerful. On the Martial Heaven continent, he had walked the path of the body cultivator. Hence, his blood chi had now grown to an astonishing level. Even in the Nine Prefecture Convention, only a few primals could match his current blood chi. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Were the immortal world's heavenly Tao fruits based on each person's talent? If that was the case, then he really had profited. Regretfully, he didn't have more people to test it on. He could only wait for a chance. After all, primal heavenly Tao fruits were extremely precious, and he didn't want to waste them. Chin Feng had just awakened his primal bloodline, and his fluctuations weren't completely steady. Because of that, Long Chen told him to rest for a few days to grow accustomed to it. It would be best if no one realized the difference in his aura. Chin Feng went into seclusion, while Long Chen returned to his own room. It took him a long time to settle his emotions. Primals were those that had made a further breakthrough from their own ancestors' powerful bloodlines. Only someone who could condense special bloodline runes could be called a primal. As for Chin Feng, he was originally nothing more than an ordinary person from the mortal world, but the heavenly Tao fruit had allowed him to easily awaken a primal bloodline. This heavenly Tao fruit was a heaven-defying treasure. Ah, that's right, I forgot to check on Hugh along. Long Chen clapped his forehead and hastily checked. Big brother. He was delighted to find Huo Long in a sea of flames. Moreover, Huo Long was actually capable of speaking. Good, you're not that far from transforming now. How are you? asked Long Chen. He, I've profited this time. That fellow gave me all his power, and it's also very easy to digest. I should be done with it in one day, said Huo Long. He, good. With you, I'm even more confident in this Martial Dao convention. That golden dragon scale will definitely be mine. Long Chen clenched his fists, his confidence soaring. Huo Long's intelligence had recovered. Together, the two of them would be able to cooperate even better. Chapter 3128 Liao Yu Huang this battle benefited Long Chen immensely. It was because Hu Olong had gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame. The Azure Rainbow Flame was wasted in Chu Shuang's hands. Although that fellow was talented, his flame control could only be called immature. It looked mighty, but its actual killing power could not be brought out. 
However, in Huo Long's hands, it was different. Huo Long was a flame spiritual body, and it could unleash the full potential of the Azure Rainbow Flame. Other than the Azure Rainbow Flame, there were also the four heavenly Dao fruits. With them, Long Chen saw a bright and open path in front of him. He would continue building the Dragon Blood Legion into the Immortal World's number one legion. This time, the Chu family's people had been sending him a gift, and Long Chen simply couldn't refuse. In comparison to this gift, even those two treasure item arm bracers felt somewhat insignificant. Time passed. It was only after five days that the next round to cut down the 64 experts to 32 started. This was because after the top 64 were decided, there was another round for those that had been eliminated previously to fight for a spot in the top 100. This would decide who would get the rewards, so it took some time. When everyone returned to the stage, cheering once more exploded when Long Chen arrived. Last time, even when the Chu family's people had been cheating, he had used some unknown method to kill all four of them. At that time, they were too stunned to cheer, perhaps they wanted to make up for it now, so today's cheering was particularly loud. This time, Long Chen waved his hand and cupped his fists toward those people to express his thanks before walking to his spot. Previously, the front runners for the champion position were Ku Wuai and Ji Yuan. However, people had to reevaluate this nine prefecture convention. Other than Ku Wuai and Ji Yuan, there was now a dark horse in the form of Long Chen. The power that he had displayed was not inferior to theirs. Furthermore, there were also several other powerful experts. Amongst them, Long Chen's side took up four of them. Up until now, Bai Shishi had only displayed her manifestation. No one could counter her metal energy, and just her manifestation alone was enough to make her opponents admit defeat. Hence, she had yet to reveal her true power. Young Master Chang Chuan was the same. It was unknown who had spread news of him previously fighting Ku Wuaya, but this news shook everyone. Adding on that he came from a life-forbidden area, people felt an even higher level of regard for him. As for Bai Ziao, he was the greatest marvel. No one had yet to counter his three flower pupils. Anyone who fought with him could only sigh sadly. His spatial energy was impossible to break free from. However, among the four of them, people were not so optimistic for Bai Ziao, compared to Long Chen, Bai Shishi, and young master Chang Chuan people felt like he was almost cheating. Bai Ziol's three flower pupils truly did feel like his only strong point, but real experts had to be strong in all aspects. Just having one move wasn't enough to make you an expert. Furthermore, Bai Ziol appeared too immature and was not steady enough. He didn't have that domineeringness of an expert. Although his three flower pupils were strong, against true experts, he might be countered. Other than them, Two other figures drew the most attention. One was the Zither woman from the Zither sect, while the other was the mysterious one who seemed to have merged with the Tao. She was capable of using heavenly Tao energy without forming hand seals or chanting. From the start, no one had managed to even approach the Zither woman. In the end, they all admitted defeat. As for the other woman, she was never forced to use a second move against her opponents. Even powerful primals were defeated sometimes without even realizing how they had lost. These two had yet to reveal their true power, making people feel like they were unfathomable. Many experts were guessing just who would ultimately take the champion's crown. With so many powerful competitors, everyone grew even more excited to watch the matches. After all, the majority of these people had come to gain experience. By watching such high-level battles, they could learn something that matched their own style. In the past, Everyone had essentially known who would win by the time the top hundred was decided. There was no suspense. However, this time, it was truly a fight between powerful experts. No one dared to say just who would win. Hence, the entire island was covered in an air of suspense. This was definitely the most marvelous nine prefecture convention that people could recall. We've entered the top 64. Boss, give me your blessing. Let me not encounter those monsters, Bai Ziao prayed as he saw the lots being picked. How are you going to follow Bosch like this? demanded Chin Feng. This fellow was too childish. He had such an amazing divine ability, but he was like a novice. Chin Feng, it seems that your aura has changed. Did you make a breakthrough? asked young master Cheng Chuan. Hearing this, Bai Shishi and the others checked and found that Chin Feng's aura did seem a bit different. 
but they were unable to tell what exactly was different. I've fought many battles lately, and under boss's guidance, I've gained some new comprehension of the martial Tao. There was a definite increase in my mental realm. This nine prefecture convention has truly benefited me, said Chin Feng. In just a few days, Chin Feng had condensed his own bloodline runes and could control his bloodline power. However, no matter how he concealed himself, the feeling of controlling this absolute power still changed him. His gaze, his confidence, they all changed the air around him. Young Master Chang Chuan and the others had sensed this. Just then, Long Chen's tablet lit up. Long Chen looked and didn't recognize the name, so he felt indifferent. However, just then, the name of his opponent became them, which indicated that his opponent had admitted defeat. They couldn't even be bothered to set foot onto the stage. Long Chen laughed. It seemed that killing those four fellows from the Chu family had frightened quite a few people. Even in the top 32, people were still admitting defeat directly. Bai Shishi and young master Chang Chuan were both calm. Their opponents weren't Kuwaiya, Ji Yun, or those two women, so there was no suspense. However, when Bai Ziyou saw the name on his tablet, he almost wept. Everyone quickly looked. Liao Yu Huang. Chapter 3129 Ziyou admits fear. Liao Yu Huang, that was the name of the woman from the Zither sect. The name was a bit strange and not one for a woman, but it was precisely due to this that it was easier to remember. Of course, Ziyou had also memorized it. He had memorized the names of all those he considered monsters. Every time the lots were drawn, he would cover up his tablet and look at the characters one by one. As soon as he saw that their surname was different, he would relax. It was like he was gambling with his tablet. However, today, his luck wasn't good. As expected, whatever you feared would happen. His opponent was Liao Yu Huang. Ziyo, it's your turn, said Lu Mingxuan. How can this be? I'm the seventh match, exclaimed Bai Ziyo, in a panic as he tried to think of how to win. People in the first six matches all admitted defeat, said Lu Mingxuan helplessly. Just at this moment, Bai Ziyo's tablet began to flash. It really was his turn. In order to win the match to get into the top 64, many people had ended up putting everything on the line. Because of it, they were still injured. Whether they were 64th or 4th, it made no difference to them as the rewards were the same. Hence, they forfeited because they had no intention of getting into the top 3. The first 7 matches at the start, including Long Chen's, all had people directly admit defeat, allowing their opponents to easily pass. Everyone was now much clearer about the power of their competitors. Hence, if their power was equal, there was no need to go all out against them. If their opponent was too strong, then there was no point in even going on stage. Right now, Bai Ziyo was transported to the stage. When he saw the zither woman, he almost wept, but he thickened his face to greet her. Hello, beautiful zither big sister. Junior brother Bai Ziyo has come to learn a bit from senior sister due to boss's orders. If senior sister could give me some pointers, junior brother would be endlessly grateful. I hope senior sister will give face to my boss and have some mercy, and not make junior brother's loss too ugly. Boss said that he would personally treat big sister to a meal after the convention is over. What nonsense. When did I ever say such a thing? Long Chen was speechless. When did this little fellow get such a smooth mouth? Huh? It really is a case of people stained black by the environment. Even this innocent child's idol has learned to spout insincere guilt words, said Bai Shishi indifferently, clearly implying that Bai Ziyou had learned the wrong things from Long Chen. Your boss is Long Chen, correctly Ao Yu Huang smiled at Bai Ziyou. Yes, yes, it's him. I know that I can't beat you and wanted to admit defeat. But Pa said that a beautiful and kind woman like you won't kill me. Most importantly, he said that exchanging blows with you will benefit me endlessly, so I hope for some pointers, said Bai Ziyo, exceedingly courteously. Hearing that, Long Chen suddenly came to an understanding. Even before Bai Ziyo's three flower eyes were activated, he had possessed the power to see through a person's power. It was precisely due to this that he had taken Long Chen as his boss, this was Bai Ziyo's innate talent. He had definitely sensed something, which was why he was being so courteous to Liao Yu Huang and acting inferior. This way, 
Liao Yu Huang would definitely have mercy, and there would be no danger even if he was defeated. It seemed that he really did have some smarts. Junior brother is too courteous. Your three flower pupils are manifested from an immemorial divine art. It is filled with endless profundities. Who would dare to be so arrogant as to say that they could give you pointers? However, your three flower pupils have just awakened, and your usage is still rough. There are too many flaws. Against an ordinary expert, it's fine. But against supreme experts, when your pupil arts change, you leave yourself open to having your life taken. All right, since Brother Long is willing to say such a thing, I will embarrass myself. Just then, the barrier separating them vanished. Bai Ziol had long since prepared his manifestation. Hence, at this moment, an illusory image appeared behind him. It was a pair of giant eyes. This manifestation was not a primal's manifestation because Bai Ziol had not awakened a primal bloodline. When those giant eyes appeared, it was as if the heavens had set their gaze on Liao Yu Huang. Space around her layered, as if the world was thrown into chaos and heaven and earth had been displaced. Liao Yu Huang's body quivered slightly. After that, she rested her hand on her zither strings. With a single note, an invisible sound wave shot out, restoring the chaotic world. What? All the experts that had previously fought against Bai Ziol were shocked. They had all been defeated by this move. It had to be known that when Bai Ziol activated his pupil art, heaven and earth were thrown into chaos. Left and right, front and back, up and down, there was no way for them to tell the direction. They might try to charge at Bai Ziol, only to find themselves getting further and further away. It was a feeling that had driven them mad. However, Liao Yu Huang instantly broke this technique. How could they not be shocked? Bai Ziol seemed to have expected this. Hence, his hand seals changed, and three flower petals appeared in his giant eyes. The three flower petals then began to revolve. The martial stage instantly changed. It quivered and swayed. Suddenly, the floor of the martial stage became the roof, and the feeling of spatial displacement made people nauseous. Those who had fought by Ziol began to vomit. It was as if they had returned to that terrifying nightmare. The world was spinning around them. Now that the martial stage was fully activated and battles were fought one by one, the martial stage drew people in, making them feel as if they were inside as well. This was very beneficial to their comprehension. It was even said that in the final clash, people would be able to freely choose between the viewpoints of the final fighters, as if they were the ones fighting. However, due to being drawn in, quite a few people felt so terrible that they had no choice but to close their eyes and stop watching. Space layered and inverted. Now, bolts of lightning streaked through the air, and giant wind blades whirled through space. As for Bai Ziol himself, he had vanished, leaving only those giant eyes. They were like the eyes of a god. Boom! A bolt of lightning struck the ground, blasting it apart. This made everyone jump in shock. This isn't an illusion. Just as they thought that this spatial chaos was nothing more than a kind of illusion, a physical attack appeared. After that, Zither music began to ring out and ripples spread. This inverted chaotic world then began to settle. Wherever the music passed, a calm world followed. Big sister, be careful. I'm going to use one of my ultimate moves. Bai Ziol's voice rang out. Suddenly, space twisted and sharp swords rained down on Liao Yu Huang from every direction. How is that possible upon seeing those swords? Countless people were filled with disbelief. Chapter 3130 Fully Convinced These endless sharp swords rained down on Liao Yu Huang. Moreover, every sword possessed a different element. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, darkness, every kind of energy rained down. How can one person control so many kinds of energy? Everyone was shocked to see these endless swords. This simply wasn't possible. Furthermore, every sword possessed a powerful aura. They were no illusions. Bai Ziol is this powerful? His pupil arts can control this many kinds of energy. Luo Bing and the others were also shocked. Even after knowing him for so long, they hadn't realized that he possessed such power. In theory, it's possible. Pupil arts stemmed from the Desolate Era's Heavenly Eye Race, one of the most mysterious primitive races. It's said that the Heavenly Eye Race isn't even human. They're a natural divine race. 
Their eyes are miniature versions of the Heavenly Deos, and they are capable of using all forms of power within the Heavenly Deos. Legend is it that one branch of the Heavenly Eye race ended up marrying the human race, resulting in the human race inheriting those pupil arts. The Heavenly Eye race was enraged when they learned of this and directly wiped out that branch. It is said that they even pursued the descendants of that bloodline, but for some reason, the Heavenly Eye race suddenly vanished. Records about them exist only in legend, and any documents related to them are extremely muddled. There's no way to tell what's true or false. Pupil arts were originally called Heavenly Eyes in the Desolate Era. The translations of the human race's records say that they are the eyes of the Heavenly Deos. When cultivated to the pinnacle, they can manifest the heavenly deos and rewrite the workings of the universe. They can control the cycle of life and death. The heavenly eye race is too mysterious, and it can't even be confirmed that they ever existed. But there is one thing that can be said, their pupil arts are capable of controlling every kind of natural energy. For a normal person, using even just clashing powers like water and fire could instantly cause them to lose their life. But Zio possesses the power to use every element, even I envy him, said LongChenNavaloon.com. Zio possesses this kind of unrivaled energy, doesn't that mean that he can beat Liao Yu Huang asked Mu Qingyan, feeling even more excited for Bai Zio. Foolish girl, how many times have I told you that there is no such thing as an unrivaled power? Within the endless Tao, there are always counters. No matter how great Zio's talent is, it's useless. His opponent is not such a weak figure. Furthermore, this fellow has no brain. Long Chen shook his head. Everyone was startled, not understanding why Long Chen would suddenly evaluate him as having no brain. Just as the countless swords pierced toward Liao Yu Huang, Liao Yu Huang shook her head and sighed slightly. She suddenly rested her zither on her knees and played it like a pipa. Five notes rang out. After that, those swords rotted and crumbled into nothingness. For a moment, everyone could only stare in dumbfounded silence. Just what had happened? How could such a terrifying attack just dissipate like smoke in the wind? Those five notes rang out clearly, and the spatial twisting vanished. The hidden Bai Ziaol also appeared, staring in shock at her. Liao Yu Huang said, You have such an enviable divine ability, but you don't know how to use it. You can only unleash the most shallow power of the three flower pupils. Spatial displacement is only the entry to the three flower pupils, but even this technique isn't being used properly by you. Although space looks to be in chaos, time is not, giving it the appearance but not the killing power. Furthermore, when you used so many kinds of energy to attack me, it looked frightening on the surface, but all those energies were clashing with each other. Even an ordinary primal would only be scared when attacked. Power is in something where the more there is, the better. To increase the quantity by reducing the purity is a great taboo of cultivation. You should choose the kind of energy that you like and specialize in it. That way, you will be able to go further. Hearing that made Long Chen nod his head. As expected, cultivators of the music Dao all had high mental realms. She instantly saw through Bai Ziaol. When it came to Bai Ziaol's power, Long Chen didn't want to give him too many pointers. Now still wasn't the time. He had just awakened the three flower pupils, and his mental realm was still adrift. Having him suffer a bit now wasn't a bad thing. The other experts in the stands all nodded inside. Liao Yu Huang possessed a noble air, and she didn't give off any hint of arrogance or darkness. It was a feeling that made others like and respect her more. Many thanks for your pointers. Junior brother is fully convinced by Ziaol bowed deeply toward Liao Yu Huang. You should still have more moves, no? Are you admitting defeat already? Asked Liao Yu Huang curiously. Bai Ziaol shook his head. Using them would be meaningless. The difference is too great. Big sister, you've seen through all my moves. If we continue, I'm afraid my confidence will shatter. Although big sister is nice and helped me resolve my misunderstandings, I'm afraid that my current heart can't endure the impact. He, thank you, you're even nicer to me than my real sister. Bai Ziaol was then sent out. Long Chen was speechless. That final line of Bai Ziaol's was too much. Bai Shishi's expression was clearly dark. However, since her face was always icy, it wasn't that easy to sense. In truth, Bai Shishi did care about him, she just didn't want others to tell. Naturally, Long Chen had the wits to not expose her. After all, that was their family matter. 
Boss, I feel like I can't properly cultivate now. I understand why you rejected me so many times before. Starting tomorrow, I'll properly cultivate with boss, said by Zayol. No, you still haven't found your reason to get stronger, so anything I taught you would be meaningless. You still wouldn't be able to become a true expert. Just wait, your chance will come soon. Long Chen shook his head. Bai Zyol was still not qualified to become an expert. Talent was only one part of it. Why? demanded Bai Zyol. Why ask? Boss told you to wait, so wait. Just remember that Boss always has a reason when he says something, said Chen Feng, pulling Bai Zyol down and not letting him trouble Long Chen. Of the 32 matches, only 8 actually fought. The rest were all peacefully resolved. After today's competition ended, the next matches were decided immediately. Curiously, Long Chen, Bai Shishi, and young master Chang Chuan's opponents all directly admitted defeat right on the spot. Once the lots were decided, the top 16 were basically formed. Every match ended before it even began with someone admitting defeat. Even the Huaian Trading Company's people were dumbfounded by this. Such a thing had never occurred before. After a discussion, they decided to directly draw the lots for the top eight. When young master Chan Chun saw the name of his opponent, his expression became tense. Cool Wuaya, 